Hello and welcome to CCS Quick Tips. This is a video that shows the difference between adding and linking source files to a project. So when you create a project in CCS and are ready to add source files to the project, you have the choice of either copying or linking them. When you choose to copy a file or add a file, it makes a physical copy of the file in the project folder. While if you choose to link a file, it does not copy the file but simply makes a reference to it in its original location. So there are a couple of ways to add files to a project. One way is to select the file in Windows Explorer and drag and drop it into the Project Explorer view. So you can simply drag it in there like that and then you will be prompted to either copy the file to the project or link the file. In this case I'm going to select Copy Files and click OK. You can see here now that the source file has been added to the project and since we selected copy files, the file has been physically copied over to the project folder. So the way you can confirm that is right click on the file, go to properties and check the resource location. And notice here that the file is within the project directory. An alternate way to add a file is to right click on the project and select Add Files. Browse to the source file location, select the file, and once again you will be prompted to either copy the file or link to file. In this case I'm going to select Link to File and then you have the option to create a link either relative to a variable or you can deselect that and just simply link the file with a hard-coded path. So if I select this and create a link relative to a variable. You can see here in this drop-down list that you have um, several variables to choose from. Um, these are all predefined variables um, defined by CCS. You also have the choice of creating your own variable if you wish. Um, for this example I'm just going to go ahead and select the default which is the project location and click OK. Now notice here that this file has the special icon next to it which denotes that it is a linked file, so it does not physically reside in the project folder. Now you can confirm that again by right-clicking on the file and going to Properties. And check that the location, as you can see, it is a path relative to the variable project lock, and it also shows you the resolved location, which is where the file originally resides. So this video shows how you can add and link source files to your project. Thanks for watching.